What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV. This is the Dream Quest. It is a mini Windows 11 PC and it runs pretty freaking good and it's less than 250 bucks. I know for me, if I buy this with their 20% coupon they have on Amazon right now, it's as low as 234 bucks delivered. That's with tax, delivery, everything. And like I said, it's pretty sweet. So let's check this out more. All right, so here is a closer look at the Dreamweaver. Now I do have it plugged in because I wanted to show you off some of the things on here. So you get this illuminated Dream Quest logo design that shows up on here. On one side, you don't have anything. On the back side, you have two ethernet ports and a power port on the left there. So I guess you will start off with the power port. Power port, and then the next two are ethernet. And you can actually plug them both in to get max speeds for receiving and sending data, or you can just use one if you want. You also get three HDMIs, which allows you to plug in three monitors all at once. That way, if you're doing a lot of multitasking work, you're able to. On the right-hand side, the last one there is the headphone jack. So you can plug that in, either plug in regular headphones or speakers if you want, so that's always cool. On this side, starting from the left to the right, on the left, you get four USB ports here, so high-speed USB ports. You get uh, on some vents to cool this thing down, and you do have some some fans. And I will, I'm gonna just after this, I'll show you how loud it gets. But right above that, you can see a min, uh, micro SD card slot. So if you want to plug in, you know, if you took pictures on a phone or something or a camera, and you have a micro SD card inside, you can plug that right in, or you can always plug. USB adapters in or USB hard drives or anything else USB that you want to. I currently have plugged in a wireless keyboard and wireless mouse. That's why I have the USB uh, plugs on the left there taken out. And then on the front, you just have a button. This will turn on and off your computer. Other than that, that's pretty much it. You can see some get some vents at the bottom. You can open this up and if you want, you can actually install extra hard drives and things like that, such as SSD. Uh, or regular old uh, just hard drives. So very cool stuff that you can upgrade this as well. One other thing is I wanted to mention what comes inside the box. You do get a how-to guide on how to, you know, kind of use this, but you also get the computer, you get the HDMI cable, and then you also get the power cord. Other than that, very simple unboxing. And just so you can hear the fans, I'm holding it right up to my microphone, so you can hear it, but it's not like overwhelmingly loud. All right, so let's get into using this computer. I kind of want to show you what it's good at and what you should expect when you buy this. So a couple things about this computer are, first of all, what can you do with it? What should you expect and what comes pre-installed? So let's talk about what comes in pre-installed. I only installed just a couple of things here um, because this literally almost comes with nothing pre-installed, which I love. I love, I love it when computers don't come with a lot. Basically, it came with and I, I installed the Epic Games Launcher, um, Black Magic, which is basically DaVinci Resolve, and then Geekbench 5. Everything else was nothing. It was literally just, and I installed Chrome actually as well. It came with the Edge browser. It came with a security suite from uh, Huawei, I guess that's how you say it. And that's pretty much it, and Windows 11. And it's amazing. I love that it doesn't come with really anything else. Also, just to show you, this is a 4K monitor connected, and I'm gonna show you that it says that it's running at 4K. You can see right there, display resolution 3840 by 2160, so it can power a 4K monitor. And speaking of 4K, let's watch a 4K video on YouTube. So we're gonna skip this ad right here. I've got this plan. it's plan in HD currently. We're gonna click on this. And we're gonna click on that. We're gonna go to H2160, uh, and we'll see if this can play a 2160 video. And it is doing it. It's doing it fine. Let me put on the volume. And I don't know if you can hear that, but speakers are built into the computer and they actually sound pretty good. So this is playing in 4K 30, no problem. And just real quick, here is a 4K 60 video playing over Wi-Fi. This can play it fine, no issues. All right, so let's just talk about the specs real quick because I want to dive into that just in case you're a specs person. Windows 11 out of the box. Also, the one I have has eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes 
of storage. Processor inside is an Intel N5105 processor, but it literally has the performance of an eighth gen Intel premium processor. So it's not a slouch in terms of, you know, day-to-day -day tasks at all. It does have 2.4 and five gigahertz Wi-Fi built in with speeds up to 600 megabits per second. Bluetooth 4.2. Also, the build of it is pretty freaking cool. It is an aviation grade aluminum alloy and tempered glass top cover with LED breathing lights, making it durable and beautiful. So who is this computer for? It's for someone that wants to do basic tasks that you do every single day, such as web browsing, watching 4K videos, uh, playing some very light gaming, maybe gaming inside of a browser, things like that. Uh, if you're doing work tasks, such as like spreadsheets and Word documents, and anything that has to do with that. I mean, you can plug in a webcam and make this a webcam thing for yourself so you can chat on whatever video service that you use, have it be a Google Duo or any of them that are used for work conferences such as Google Meet or Microsoft's one. There's tons of them that you'll be able to use with this. So if you wanna pick it up, I think it's a great pickup from almost anybody that needs a computer. It's got Windows 11, it's got fast internal storage, a really, really fast, uh, SSD drive in there. The price is right. It looks cool. It has tons of ports. You can plug in multiple monitors if you have multiple monitors. So you can pretty much do anything that you want. It's just not like a super, super gaming powerhouse, which I know a lot of people don't even play uh, PC games anyway. They play them on a console or, you know, even if you wanted to play gaming on here, like I said, you can do some light gaming. So check it out. It's linked down below. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace. Thank you.